Miles Mac. You know, just another day, just another day. If God wasn't here, I would be all of them. I'm, I'm undefeated. I'm 4-0, actually. As the sun casts a glow on time gone by, and the memories of four special years begin to fade, the Rutgers seniors are reminded that all good things must come to an end. While their playing careers are winding down on the banks, these men and women will forever be remembered as Scarlet Knights and they will always have a home in New Jersey. Yes, time cannot stand still, but experiences, relationships, and the joy of a college basketball career will always endure. Get better. You gotta get better. If you prepare yourself now, when the time comes for you to perform, you will be ready. The Rutgers basketball story is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health care provider of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. I grew up in Baltimore City. Uh, I moved around a lot. Uh, my parents uh, switching from mom and dad a lot. Uh, I attended St. Francis Academy. I, uh, I started playing basketball when I was about 11. It started getting real to me. Uh, it wasn't just fun anymore. I realized I could actually go to college uh, if, I, if I got good, good, good at basketball. And from there, I just stuck to it, and uh, I'm, I'm here now. Greg Lewis is probably my favorite person uh, not just player. He really exemplifies everything you want in a student athlete. Uh, he does everything the right way. He's a giver. He, that's what he wants to do. He wants to give back. He wants to help others. My cousin, actually my uh, second cousin, uh, Reggie Lewis, uh, he passed away in uh, 93. I like to uh, keep that, keep him around, or just keep a picture of him just to remind me of what he was and what I like to be someday. I've been watching all his uh, his highlight tapes, and uh, people uh, always connect me with him. Us both growing up in Baltimore City, he's an all-around good guy. He's a legend in Baltimore. If I try to uh, be like him on the court, and off the court, really, him having a way to affect people off the court, like Thanksgiving drives, and uh, just help out help out the community. Uh, how are you? Good. <laughs> I'll be there tomorrow night. Okay, All right. Good luck. I'll be there. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. See you tomorrow. All right. 
Who's that? Oh, that's my old professor. Good dude, actually he's my roommate. Um, quiet, real quiet, but he he kind of demands his presence. I mean, you know who he is and where he's from. Like, you know everything about him just by being around him. Um, he's a warrior, especially on the court. I mean, don't let the, the quietness and the, the calm demeanor to fool you because he's going out there at every play. He's excellent on the floor, especially defensively. He's our anchor down there. Anchor. He is our defensive anchor. He's our captain. Here's Hill spinning and a block. It started on the defensive end with Greg Lewis coming over and eliminating the opportunity at the rim. What Greg does for us off the court is as important what he does for us on the court. He's involved in Athletes in Action. He went on an Athletes in Action basketball trip uh, to the Philippines this summer. Um, he leads by serving others, which is, I think, the best way to lead. The future of the program, I, I know it's not about myself. It's about these young guys um, bringing the right spirit to the game, changing the culture here, and um, building something great for the future. He's a tremendous young man, and, and I have nothing but the utmost respect for him. He tries to do everything you ask of him, so he's one of the best kids I've ever coached in my life. Uh -huh. Are we waiting on like eight? <laughs> Wake up at exactly 9 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Greer pulls back. That's a three for Omari Greer. That's able to jump through. And Omari Greer really gaining confidence from the start. <laughs> I started playing basketball probably like six, seven years old. Pretty much whenever, you know, a young kid, you know, starts to pretty much pick up a basketball on the Fisher Price courts, you know. Usually like to tear their roof uh, or tear their roof down on those, you know, break the backboard. Jake said he was a pretty sick Fisher Price player too. Um, I don't know. I mean, it just depends on the uh, Fisher Price rankings right now. I've been leading him for about you know 23 years now. So, but you know what I mean. It's up for a discussion or debate. You know, whichever way you guys want to take. <laughs> yeah. Good offensive sequence there for the Scarlet Knights. That's what it's going to take for this team to be successful offensively, making one another better on the offensive end of the floor. And there's Greer knocking down another three. Basketball career. Rutgers is extremely close to home. You know, I've been all over the place, you know, playing away from home. My family hasn't really gotten a chance to see me play or anything. And it's just good for my family just to be able to come see me play for my last year and friends as well. So it's a good opportunity, you know, not only for because of basketball, but, uh, you know, as far as education goes as well. I mean, um, I just feel like it'll just give me plenty of opportunity to do things, you know, outside of basketball and to be able to network throughout the school. And, and it's been it's been good. It's been great to me so far. And I just plan on, you know, taking advantage of it over these next couple of months that I'm here. Yeah, I was like, Hey, now, I heard you. What's up, man? How you doing? Thank you. Where are we at, Major? Uh, I have no idea. Middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh, that's why. He old. He don't remember stuff, you know. Bishop Daniel's very respectful. I know his mom and dad. They make sure that he is a respectful young man, and he is. This is early for this. <laughs> Unbelievable athlete. Daniels. Church tonight, <laughs> but, the, but the bishop showed up at the rim. I ever play yourself, my man Jalen. As a senior, I constantly try to talk to those younger guys and let them know that we're part of the culture change, and if you believe it, it will come. It feels really good. Uh, I like to uh, know that I'm helping to change things around to uh, be a part of that resurrection. Greg Lewis, Omari Greer, Bishop Daniels, Jalen Hyde. It takes leadership on and off the court to build something that lasts. It takes seniors with the right attitude to serve as role models for the young guys who will soon represent the future of the program. And with the end of the season now in sight, we yet again approach that bittersweet moment. The jersey comes off 
and the sneakers are untied one last time. Seniors, we will miss you, but remember, you'll always be welcome home. The Rutgers basketball story is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health care provider of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. Big Ten women's basketball is next. This is our last time playing at the rack. Tip goes to Rutgers wearing the white jerseys in Michigan and their road blues. It's Leah Copper, she's a senior. She's got a first look. And an offensive rebound from another senior, Ariel Butts. Well, Ariel Butts, two high hands on that offensive putback. Well, they'll take a three of Michigan's first four chances off the glass and in for Brianna Canty. It's going to try it again. Why not? Clarity now one of three from back there. Here's Skate on the push. 41% three point shooting. And Rutgers takes the lead again. There were six lead changes in the first quarter. A quarter Tyler Scaife finished in style. Two for Scaife, and she beats the buzzer. The junior going to work on Rutgers Senior Day. Thompson going to take it herself, but blocked from Canty. Canty, one of the six seniors. They're all over the place. The block from Scaife. Keep an eye on that matchup. It's going to be fun to watch. Kalia Copper, who earned second team all Big Ten Conference honors, along with Tyler Scaife, was a force to be reckoned with against Michigan. She remained on fire for the Scarlet Knights, posting her 10th double-double of the season with 20 points and 10 rebounds. Six to shoot for Rutgers, down low to Kalia Copper. Copper getting another and one. Going to work on the block. Called the Michigan-Ohio State game with the two Kelsey Mitchells. Transition. It's Tyler Skafe for two. Ristovsky gets it blocked by Canty. Now that Canty's been awfully active defensively. Rutgers on the push into the hands of Skafe. Skafe finished the first half with 17 points as Rutgers built some momentum and went into the locker room at the rack with a commanding 34-23 advantage. Coach Stringer's club never looked back against the Wolverines. Back to back. Pressure looks from Michigan, and they get it down low to Ariel Butts. Great defense against one another. Yeah, and still Rutgers has the nine-point advantage, and it's Canty as the third option going to work. Nice high-low pass to Copper, who handles it. Kalia Copper now with a quick four points. It's always good to get Rachel Holloway involved, and Rutgers did just that. Six to shoot for Rutgers. Three to shoot. Sandals from up top. Again, to the hands of Holloway. Nice touch. The fist pump. The senior with an and one chance. At the end of three, the Scarlet Knights led by 12 as Michigan continued to hang around, but that wouldn't last for long. Nicely for Holloway. Another assist and a couple of points for Holloway. Trying to get some screening action set. Trying to clear a path to the rim, and there they go again. Attacking the paint. Lead is now up to 21. Another takeaway for Rutgers. Copper off and running for the finish. And Michigan may need a timeout. Clarity, she's the only double-figure scorer for Michigan. And Holloway says, I don't think so this afternoon. Rachel Holloway not only broke Rutgers' all-time record for blocks, she was named honorable mention All-Big Ten. 
Rachel Holloway trying to bring Scape off the double screen and another pick and roll. Scape with the pull up. Scape now with a quick four points. And this is a nice moment. Let's listen. The senior saying goodbye. A well-deserved round of applause for the seniors who closed out the regular season before family, friends, and the home crowd with a lopsided 72-50 victory. Six of them being honored. Nearly half of the roster for Rutgers. Their final home game, they're going out winners. If I had to describe this team in one word, I would say silly. <laughs> if I can describe my team in one word, I would say funny because everybody's hilarious. so I can do my interview. Uh... Um, so how, what do you think of your sister, Elijah? Um, I think she's just like annoying and that's it. Definitely the style and the dancing. I think I, I think I'm like the hype on the team. Like they love me. All my teammates love me. They know. They definitely know. girl brings calmness because these these girls sometimes need somebody to just bring it down being from New Jersey it meant a lot for me to stay home and play here because I wanted my family and my friends to be able to travel to my games and be able to come watch me play. Being from Mississippi, what I bring to the team, I bring the really, really countryside. They will be the all-time blocks leader. She is the all-time blocks leader, so she'll be on the record books. A Philly girl brings that attitude, that competitiveness, and just the, the work ethic.
Rachel Holloway, Ariel Butts, Alana Farajaro, Cynthia Hernandez, Brianna Canty, Kalia Copper. These women played with pride on the banks of the old Raritan. They represented their legendary coach, their teammates, the fans, and themselves with class and dignity. They broke records at Rutgers, earned spots on the all Big Ten Conference team, and won an NIT title. Now it's time to say goodbye to Rutgers and say hello to new challenges in their lives. Playing for Coach Stringer was an experience they will always cherish, but there's a next step for all of these student athletes, and there is no doubt that the experience and wisdom they have gained at Rutgers will serve them well in their careers and in their lives for years to come. The Rutgers basketball story is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health care provider of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. Founded before America's revolution. Birthplace of college football. Transforming the arts, humanities, teaching, thinking, research. It's where we are, where we've been, where we're headed, always forward. Rutgers, revolutionary for 250 years.